Welcome to episode 43 of Paper Sorcerer. Logan Kane here, and let's continue on with the game. Last time we went through the catacombs, and what did we find? We found out that we got the ultimate weapons. Yay! Wow, this looks like the druid level. Anyway. We found out we got the ultimate weapons, and what did we find out about the ultimate weapons? They were... <sighs> but, to be fair, even though they were kind of eh, the axe was pretty freaking powerful looking. And we learned... That not only do the chests respawn, but it would be a good way to grind. Just go back to the earlier levels of the catacombs and try to get uh, special items or simply trying to grind up items for getting more gems so I can overtrain my guys. And if that's the case, eh, I might, might consider actually going more into that. I don't even know who to take out first here, but in either case, we'll be back. I'm not sure if you all were able to see my Minotaur's power swing, but oh my lord, did it do damage. That axe, that axe is really, really good. The other stuff, but the axe, wow. I am completely impressed. Outsider's armor. Wonder if that's something my miniature could wear. Cause that 70 defense is just crap. It really, it really is. 70 defense is crap. Ooh, he can 97 and all that agility and strength. And now I gotta scroll down and click on it again because this game is poorly coded. But hey, we're here. I thought there was... What the... I remember seeing another baddie. thought it was in here. Oh, it is. Let's check this one first. Same room. I can't squeeze by, can I? Oh, wow, this... This one looks like it could hurt. Well, what do we have? I'm not trying to poison anybody right now. I'm trying to hit as many people at once as possible, and that's just not logical right now. I guess I hit the samurai first. Look at that list. Let's do a power swing. And a frost. Uh, not a frost. I keep wanting to do frostfall, but it's ice storm. And then, of course, do some buffing. Let's do some, let's do some damage buffs. See how well that break works on that samurai. Pretty well. Oh god. They cast Firestorm on me. And sleep! No! Don't put my Minotaur to sleep. Of all the people to sleep, not my Minotaur. He's the one that's supposed to do all the damage. Oh my. This is not going to turn out well. I thought this was going to be a very quick fight. That's why I decided not to skip it. But now, now that my poor Minotaur is asleep tables have turned. I really don't have another AoE attack. I, sure, I have Firestorm, but it's weak as shit. I'm going to use it anyway. It's weak as shit, though. And the cultist can't wake people up. I can revive people from the dead. I can cure blindness, but I cannot wake somebody up. Do I need to heal anybody? Yes, I do. Let's heal the Minotaur. Charging Fist, go! Take out that Samurai, thank you. The Druid should probably be the next target. Alright, let's see what this Firefall does. I think the Priest will just... Or the... Is he a Priest? I don't remember. I get the feeling he'll just die in happenstance. Yes! You've woken my Minotaur! Now you are all screwed. Troll, go ahead and break. Come on, I'm looking. Yes, power swing. That'll finish him. But in the case that it doesn't, I still need to heal up my sorcerer. Let's go ahead and do some soul steal, and then... Yeah, why not? Heal the troll. Sorcerer's gonna heal himself. He'll be alright. That, no, that break didn't take... Oh, God. Don't heal. 
Alright, power swing. Let's see what you do this time. Holy shit. Did over a thousand damage to one of them. And it, okay, I was gonna say, he's still alive? Honestly, I'm surprised this many are still alive. That'll probably take him out. I can't believe the dwarf is alive. And the bear. Of all things. I just do normal attack on the dwarf. Let's take out that dwarf. Well, you are going to focus, I think. Yeah, you go ahead and focus. He doesn't get away with normal attacks now. Cultist, eh, I kind of want to do a mass heal. Yeah, I'll do a mass heal. And that should probably take the dwarf out. Wow, he's still alive. That's impressive. My Minotaur attacked twice? Maybe not. Well, the hope here is do regular attacks all the way through, and uh, you can do a Black Bolt. But the Cultist will focus. I'm hoping I can get a focus in before the bear dies. Because then I will have... Uh, yeah. Guess I'm going to have to open with a focus. Healing Potion Jade. Blah. Alright, so what's in here? An Illuminati symbol? Your grinding sound of stone against stone. Well, too bad I have absolutely no idea where to even think about looking for that. Oh, lordy. Where are we at? There's nothing in there. Is that... Yeah, that's everything in this wing, I guess. So... That's the entrance. Alright, we took out the right wing. Let's take out the left wing now. More fights. More fights. More fights. Ooh, I evaded a fight. That's the first time I've been able to do that. You find another old slim journal. Last night, Elle said it was too cold and said we should share blankets. It seemed reasonable, but sleeping in the same bed? I became pretty flustered, and she's been teasing me ever since. In retrospect, though, if she was cold, why didn't she just conjure a magic brazier? 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 Ah. An emerald, perfume, and a firebomb. That's something I horribly neglect in this game, the use of items. I wonder if I can get to the other one. I doubt it. Whoa. It did. Does that mean I can completely avoid that? Life? Oh, why don't I have somebody that can use a greatsword? Life drinking greatsword. That sounds so awesome. Yep, there's the fight. Well, you don't need to sit through this one. You bet. Well, they didn't go too poorly. Can I roll both some experience and stuff? Why not? Alright. Slowly trying to figure out what the heck I was doing. They get lost after every fight. And another fight already? Come on, guys. Come on. I'm used to two fights per... level, I guess. But this time... It's just fight after fight after fight. That's okay. Anyway, we'll be back.
saw it and went fast but you saw it how the heck that the swordsman along with the druid is just way way overpowered all the <clears throat> all they have to do is put me to sleep and then do a large strikes on me and then suddenly my entire party's dead instantly I don't know if that's just me building my party poorly or something else. I don't know. What I do know is I hear the sound of stone grinding against stone. Ooh. Oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have come back. Maybe I should have just waited. Till we got back to the center. I guess it's not that long of a run. I don't remember if I saved. I'm sure shit gonna save, because those fights are really hard. Anyway. Damn it. I'm saying anyway then. I get the feeling that I'm going to end up right at the exit. Yeah. Huh. So what's all that stone against stone crap? Guess I'll go backwards. See if there's anything back here. No? I guess that's it for episode 43 of Paper Sorcerer. I've been dying a lot lately. The catacombs was kicking my ass last time, and this time, jeez. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy! Oh, right. Right before I leave, we get to fight a big baddie. Yay. Anyway, next time.